Transmission fluid temperature is more important than you think. What is the typical or recommended fluid temperature for a transmission? What's the range that's safe? The operating temperature would be between 175 and 220. That's the, that's the right range to get the right balance of viscosity and heat within the transmission. Because like most fluids, it needs to be into a, a, a operating temperature range to work its For the best. viscosity to be where we want it. How, exactly. we, how we design it to work is at that viscosity between the 175 and 220. Because like most fluids, it can be too cool, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, with that said, there's situations where the fluid temperature rises. What would cause the fluid temp to rise? So it could be a number of things. Could be aggressive driving, could be a lot of hills, or if you're towing a lot. Uh, if your engine actually overheats itself, it will affect the transmission as well. If the transmission cooler maybe has got a blockage in it, and you're not getting the proper flow through there, that can okay. cause it as well. I mean, there's a number of outside factors that can come into play there. So with that, what would be your consideration for like max safe temp? What, you know, at what point does you, you enter the danger zone, so to speak. Yeah, we don't want to see it over 240. Okay. Once you get over 240, you can start getting some damage in there. You can start getting some deposits, varnish. The place can start to slip, and you can end up with uh, some other issues that come up at okay. that point. So at the end of the day, it's about the, using the proper transmission fluid and not so much keeping it cool, but keeping it in the right range. Range, the yeah. range is what's important. Yeah. Too cool is not exactly where you want to operate, too hot is definitely not where you want yeah. to operate. So. so, and for most cars, probably the uh, cooler that's found in the radiator end tank is sufficient, but if it's a tow vehicle or a race car or something like that, they may need to look into an external cooler. Exactly, you can add a separate transmission cooler and different things like that onto the vehicle if you have that issue, if you're in that type of situation. Yeah. And a transmission gauge, of course, because how else are you going to know what your temperature is? Easy enough to throw in there as well. Exactly, right? Mike, thanks so much for the information on transmission fluid. Thanks everyone for watching.